Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to create a fee schedule in the system. To configure your fees, click on Configuration, then Payer, and then Fee Schedules. Click on the name of your fee schedule in the left hand side of the screen. The complete configuration screen will open up. The top portion is completed by your coach. To begin assigning charges to your CPTs, click on Add Carve-Out at the bottom of the page. A new window will pop up. Enter in the procedure and price in the fields in this window. You can enter a modifier here, but a modifier is not required to save the information. An entry containing a modifier is saved as a separate entity and can have a different price. It can also have a different start date and end date than one without a modifier or a different modifier. If you don't remember a CPT, you can use the Search Procedures page to find the CPT information that you need here. Unless you are a hospital or an ER, you will want to set the Is Facility Rate drop down to No. You can enter a date range in which that price will be effective using these fields at the bottom. Usually you want to create your carve-outs with no date range at first. So I'm going to hit save and finish the work I just did. Now let's assume you have been charging $50 for a procedure and you want to increase the price to $60. You can go back and edit your carve-out and enter an end date for the $50 charge to end on a specific date. Click on any of the blue hyperlink text in the center of the page to open the carve-out and edit it. Then, create another carve-out with a start date that begins after the end date of the other carve-out. This carve-out will be similar to the other one, but will have the new $60 charge to it. I am going to leave the end date of this one blank, because I don't know when I'll be adjusting my fees again at this time. I am now finished, so I'll click Save. The CPT and charge are now added to the fee schedule. You can also filter by any of these fields here above the hyperlink text. If you do change your charges yearly, you may want to add your charges in with the end dates as well. Be aware that if you do not have a new charge entered in time, you may end up with claims on your workbench because there's no valid fee in your fee schedule. Entering your charges per CPT the way that I showed you will create easy records of what you charge per CPT each year. If you go back to the previous record and change the price of the CPT every year and don't use the date range, you have no easy record of what you charged for that CPT last year. If you have to do any back billing, you will need to know what the charge for that CPT was last year and manually enter it in to back bill accurately. Please note, if a fee isn't listed in your fee schedule, we may pull one from your default contract template. If your default contract template is blank, we will send claims to your workbench with a note that they had no price in your fee schedule. Now there are some things that you should know about adding modifiers to your fee schedule. If you want to charge a different price than billing a claim with a different modifier, create a carve-out for that code with a modifier and price for that procedure modifier combination. Now you will also want to have just that CPT with the price pre-configured in the system as well. The reason is that if you only have the CPT in the fee schedule with a modifier, and you bill that CPT without any modifier or with a different modifier, then there is no price to pull and it will end up on your workbench. If you only carve out a procedure with no modifiers, then every time you bill that procedure, whether there is a modifier or not, it will pull the same price. Well that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click a like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.